Hi, I'm Phil, and I'm continuing to explore what I can do with my new Raspberry Pi Model 5 computer. And I've done quite a few projects already, and uh, these have been published on previous videos. But the one I'm going to look at at the moment are camera projects. So this is my uh, desktop arrangement. In the black box, I've got a Raspberry Pi Model 5. And on top, I've got the latest Model 3 Raspberry Pi camera. And it's a little beauty. It performs very well. So the hardware I've got, I've got the Raspberry Pi Model 5 and the um, Model 3. The um, Model 3 camera uh, has a good resolution. Uh, and the cost is quite reasonable. So I bought it for uh, $24 from Seed Studio, and I've um, got everything mounted on this case. So the things I've already explored are the camera commands. And the first thing is, uh, since I did it before, the software has all changed just at the um, command line level. So previously, I would have uh, used this. Now I use a different um, command to take an image. And that's not the only thing that's changed. All the Python libraries have been uh, upgraded, and the documentation from the Raspberry Pi Foundation uh, is very recent. They just released their uh, new documentation two days ago. And it's excellent. So I'm following that with these projects. So we might go down and have a look at to see what I'm doing. So um, uh, the first thing is that um, I'm going to look at um, simple Python pro projects. So a, a typical one um, would be um, this one. And we'll have a look at the uh, the code for this. So the objective is to get Python to work uh, on a standard Model 3 camera. And the code, let's have a look at if we can see the code. Here's the code for that. Uh, not many uh, lines. And uh, we'll go across and see that in operation. So uh, what I might do now is um, bring up my um, VNC screen. And I'm just going across now to get it. Here we go. There's the Raspberry Pi. And I've got all these projects uh, under Project 3. So the um, if we open this one up with um, Thony, and we're looking at the Python program, um, doesn't do much, but uh, let's just run it and see what happens. So we're now running that. And um, it's taking a picture of me, and uh, it then closes. Okay, so um, you can see that um, it works with the um, Python, uh, a good library, plenty to explore there. But it not only works with the um, CSI cameras, but it also works with USB cameras, and with both. The one I'm going to look at at the moment is multi-cameras. So you can have more than the one camera operating. And here we're going to have a USB and a uh, CSI camera. And um, we'll be looking at Node Red for doing that. So um, here are my pro programs. The one at the bottom is interesting because what it does, it uh, allows you to select the camera and passes that parameter onto a function which is um, coded in uh, Python even though it's in node red so what we might do we'll go across and have a look at that now let's see if I can get it up okay so we'll go across to node red and here's the program so to uh, to get the Python to work, we just simply grab the Python and we trigger it with an inject and uh, we use the debug. 
and we wire these up as if they were physical wires. Okay, so um, that's the basic construction of the flow that I've got, except I can choose either the USB camera and trigger it by pressing this button. And if we look inside and have a look at the code for our camera, uh, you can see that um, I'm setting the camera number to the payload and then executing the, um, the commands here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to deploy that. It's now running, and I'm going to trigger the USB camera. Then we'll go and have a look at the um, Raspberry Pi folder and file for that. So here we go. The, a lot of messages down there for our payload and operation. And we'll go across and have a look at that. So um, there's the... Um, there we go. So that's me. It's just taking a picture of me. And it gives me all the um, metadata about um, the image. So there's the image. And I can get the details just by pressing here. It tells me um, what the camera was. And it's a, uh, a USB camera in this case connected to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so let's go and have a look at some of the other projects. Um, I'll go back now to um, the mind map. And uh, we'll just zoom in. And that's the uh, node red. And what I'm going to do in future, I'm going to have a look at... Um, comparing cameras, because there's quite a, a wide range of cameras, and even the original uh, Raspberry Pi camera model one, you can still use. I'm going to look at OpenCV. I've installed it, and I've got a couple of programs working already. Uh, we'll look at the Raspberry Pi AI kit, and uh, that looks um, quite exciting. So we'll look at that in a separate video. And other projects of the future, uh, here are some of them, uh, using the Raspberry Pi as a webcam, a security camera. And also, I want to connect the uh, microscope um, to the Raspberry Pi um, and see if I can detect and recognize some objects under the microscope. Okay, so uh, plenty of references on all of this. So um, we'll just go down. So the best references for all of this are uh, from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. And the two I recommend uh, to look at is an overview of the camera modules and the camera software. OK, so uh, that's it from me for the time being. And we'll have a look at um, the next video will be OpenCV.